vlogmas day two it is 12 40 i had a late start to my day but i'm about to go out and make some errands before i have to um, do some young life stuff at 2 45 i have to go to arbor pratt my former high school to do contact work for young life and myself and desiree who you will meet later desi and i we had an open door opportunity to have firsthand interactions with students through a girls group called queenin that some girls started at arbor prep and it's every monday after school from 2 45 to 3 45 desi and i we go we participate they normally have like a little game an icebreaker that they start off with and then there's a topic for discussion that day and we just join in on it and we love them we build relationships with them and that's our way of getting them to know about young life and getting them involved in young life so I have that at 2 45 and then I have to come back to my building at Eastern for my office hours I have office hours every day and I have a one-on-one -on -one with one of my RAs then after that I have to go to First Baptist Church for a Young Life meeting, but I have to go early to meet with our area director so we can talk about some stuff. And then we have a formal Young Life business meeting from 7 to 9 p.m. <sighs> That's my Monday. Y'all ready? Let's go. Alrighty, so um, let me try to turn this music down because I don't want to get a copyright message. I need to get like a camera for, for, for the camera to go like right here. So I'm in my old high school, y'all, and look at this. That's me up there. It's so crazy because I started doing ministry in here. I started a Bible study group while I was on the cheerleading team here. And that's when I really got involved in ministry and it's coming full circle because now I'm back five years later doing ministry. So. God works in amazing ways. And every time I come in here, it brings back so many memories. This school is a small school, so there's only like this one long hallway and one on the other side. Um, but yeah, I would walk down this hall for class. This was like the hall that I was in most of the time while I was here. So crazy. Hey y'all, so now I'm at the doctor's office and this appointment is so long overdue, but um, back in September while I was at a camp for Young Life, I was riding in a go-kart with some friends and I was riding as a passenger and it started raining. And so pretty much the go-karts got out of control a little bit and we like all crashed into each other simultaneously and the person i was riding with we were in the last go-kart in the back and she totally like it wasn't necessarily her fault because the brakes weren't working because the track became slippery but she slammed into the go-kart in front of me or in front of us and my knee jammed into the front of the go-kart and it hurt so bad for some time but i was thinking to myself like i think it's just because of the pain and the bruising and it's gonna take a minute but after a while it'll be better but now it feels like it's getting worse so i just came to get it checked out and i still see the bruise too so i'm just getting it checked out my mom was like you should have been going to the doctor i know so i just called them to see if i can get a quick appointment in today it is 4 30 so we will see what they say i'm praying it's nothing too severe i'm not sure what much they can do but give me a referral to um be seen like by a specialty doctor because they may have to do an x-ray or something but i need the referral i can't just walk up in there so that's really why i'm here i don't know if you can tell but there's still parts of the bruise right here, but this whole area, like this whole area here, hurts, so we will see what they say. She said that my right knee, the knee that has the pain, has more fluid in the knee than the left knee does. 
and that's concerning to her. So she said if my x-ray comes back okay, she wants me to get an MRI done because she thinks I could have torn my meniscus, I believe. But she said it's like the tissue that protects the bone. Now I'm at St. Joe's Hospital, I'm about to get an x-ray. I've actually been here before. I was here back in the winter because I had to have an MRI done on my heart. If they say I need to have an MRI, this will be my second one. Hopefully I don't though. Hopefully the x-ray will just reveal enough information. The x-ray was done. I was in and out. It was super fast. They said I should hear something back by tomorrow. Um, so we will see. It is 516 right now. I don't want to go back to Eastern because, well, I may, but I don't because I'm going to have to leave right back out again. Once I go to the church, I'm going to be there until 9, 9.30. So this is often how my dates go. They just, <laughs> they're long. We're at the church for our Young Life Hello. meeting. This is our lovely area director in the back, if you can see her. Heidi, we all love Heidi so much. Stop being like that. Bria, Bria, we have the Instagram page called Commission. It's amazing. And then I have a personal YouTube channel. Yes, she does. Yeah, I just talk about everything faith based and also for leaders and This is about Jesus. Sure. And they're a couple, and they're one of my favorite couples. I mean, I'm about to act. The fool. Ha. Look at them. Look at them. They don't even look alike. They don't even act like that for real. Yes, we do. No, they don't. What are you looking at? <gasps> no. Nah. Oh, is that Shamaya? Is that Shamaya? Okay, wait, because I want it to be on the vlog, but you not do it, like go ahead. this. No, not like this. I go, wanna, go, it's too late. Let me show my outfit. Go ahead. Turn it around. I'm no. going to be on it a little bit later. This is about Jesus. It's not about you. But I want to look nice. This is about Jesus. It's not nice about you. I want to look nice for the Lord. You do Can you look guys nice. come over here? Yeah. We gotta, we gotta go, so uh, we'll be back later. How do you all like Young Life right now? What are your thoughts on Young Life? Young Life is great. You get to be around uh, like-minded individuals who all um, are aiming towards the goal of the goal of the of Christ. Um, with that, that are challenges. Uh, challenges being uh, time and how to use your time effectively in order to uh, achieve the common goal. Uh, I have a problem with time. Uh, right, because it's the first time. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I'm about to say the same thing. Because of my God. Y'all seen her on my channel before. We did a video about how to overcome. Oh, yes. Check it out if you haven't seen it. We're going to do another video soon. Yes. Don't know when or what it's going to be about. She's going to be in my vlog this video. Yeah. But no, Rian. Yeah. I'll be here. Thank you. Where do you be? I was here last Monday. This is my third time ever seeing you <laughs> in life. And one time was at Shemai's apartment, the other time was at Bible study. This is my first time seeing you here. I'm just saying, you don't be here. So, as he was saying, he has time obligations. Continue. Just tell the truth. I'm about to get real. It's about to get a lot busier. Now, I'm about to get busier. 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 i am about to get busier 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 i am about to get busier
poo. So we are making a Bible charades game to play with our kids for club. So we have these different Bible topics and stories, and it's gonna be like charades where they hold it up on their head. How do you spell resurrection? R E S U R. That's our area. I don't know how to spell it. I think it's to R E S U R R E S E I O N. Anyways, we're doing a Bible charade game where they have to act out. Rian, act out the burning bush. How would you act out the burning bush? <laughs> Like fire. <laughs> 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 the kids aren't gonna know that's the burning bush. It's burning. How? I don't yes. think anybody's gonna get that. Nope. Moses. 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 The only person that can stop me is the Lord. We, we record Shemaya. Let my people go. You don't know what we doing? We're doing a Bible show. You let my people go. They see the cotton in my ear though? I don't know. Listen to Sean and I love her so much. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> She dates this clown back here. He's such a clown. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and we're still together. We're such a family. We were supposed to be gone an hour. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. She's trying to make her readiness holy. She's trying to be generous. I said I'll pay for everybody if they go to Buffalo Wild Wings with me. Let's go. Like, anytime we get together, we're together for like hours. We never leave. When we say we're gonna leave. <laughs> Heidi's leaving us now. We don't want her to leave. <laughs> we love Heidi so much. And we Heidi, you mean the world to us. She's our area director for Young Life, y'all. And our master. <laughs> Bye. Bye Heidi. Bye, Heidi. It's just us now. Yeah, she called me. Actually, we lost to the Vikings. I, I need the Vikings to be. It's um, ranch, Rian. I don't know. Yeah, this smells like ranch. That's ranch. She, she blue only blue brought ranch. I'm the only one that asked for blue cheese. You know what blue cheese smells like? Yes. What does it smell like? Would you like me to wait? It has blue chunks in the. If it was blue cheese, you would see. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. Day two of Vlogmas. We wish you a merry Vlogmas and a happy end of it. All right, we're about to go. Thank you. Oh, bye. <laughs>